how y'all doing? Um, I'm working on our 55 Volkswagen Beetle here. And what you're looking at, you're looking at multicolor primers. The gray primer is epoxy primer. The tan buckskin color is polyester primer. All right, it's a uh, Featherfield G2. And then, of course, we got a little bit of Bondo showing here and miscellaneous. So, I thought this would be a good opportunity since I was block sanding this to go over a situation that the theory of epoxy primer being a primer is 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 false I'm sorry is true either way you look at it the situation says you can't do it welcome to DIY automotive school with my friend Pete and Minnie the body shop girl it's everything you need to know about cars and more about here my friend Pete you got me confused let me tell you what I'm talking about I'm talking about epoxy primer sealer authentic 100% sealer that is specifically designed that says epoxy primer on it it doesn't say 2k primer and add 10% reducer to convert it into epoxy primer it doesn't say that This is a product that is specifically stating epoxy primer. Now, a lot of people that look at the situation, they say, primer, primer. I can go ahead and prime my car with that and then paint it. No, you can't. There's different primers. Epoxy primer is not a sandable primer. That's what we're trying to get here, people. And I'm going to prove that to you, and I'm going to show that to you here in a second. What I do want to go over is a sandable primer. This, this polyester primer, this Evercoat brand uh, polyester G2 feather fill primer, this is a sandable primer. That means when you sand it, and I'm going to, I don't want to sand a lot because it's already done, but when I go over that, I want you to watch real close as I sand it. You can see that it dusts up. Do you see that right there? It didn't gum up, it dusts. There's a difference. Dust up, gum up. It dusted up on the paper. All right, looky here. And now, there's no gummy substance on the paper itself. That is a sandable primer. When I take this piece of sandpaper right here and I do the same thing and we'll go ahead and use this area okay this is epoxy this is 100% true epoxy primer and I'm going to show you that in a minute when I sand that okay look what it does do you see the gumminess on it look if I try to remove it it will not come off let me do that again when I sand the epoxy primer, it gums the paper up. It'll gum it up, and what that's doing is once that gums up on the paper, that's putting deep scratches into the primer. And the scratches are not going to be visible through the camera lens. If you were standing here with me and you were looking at it, you'd be able to see all these deep scratches that are in the primer. 
Whereas, if you look at this, this is nice and smooth. The reason that we have deep scratches there is because of that right there. See where it's gummed up? This is a sealer. This has a whole different type of a uh, hardener, okay, that works with this type of primer. And other thing is, I put two coats of this primer on here. I put two coats of this primer on here. Let's get a little closer to this, and I want to show you that epoxy primer goes on very thin. It does not go on thick enough to be a primer that is sandable and workable to prep up your vehicle for paint. So I've got two coats of primer on this. I want to show you this. You can actually hear it. You can hear that it's gumming up. Listen real close. I don't see anything falling. Okay, very, very minimal um, primer. And look at my hand under here. You can see my hand. And look. Okay, nothing. But what we are looking at, we're looking at that. Now, I'm going to continue to sand this. I'm going to show you, and you can already see right here where it's bare metal. Okay, this is two coats of epoxy primer on this. And when you're sanding it, you can feel, you can feel the paper gumming up. Do you see that? That's why this is a non-sandable primer. This is a, this is a sealer, uh, a primer that you would use to seal the bare metal or possibly, we'll use this fender as a scenario, if this fender was a paint ready fender, meaning that, that I've already wet sanded it down with 400 and all the primer is 400 smooth and I wanted to put a sealer coat on that, I would be able to do that and then apply my paint directly on top of that without sanding it. Or another situation is, Let's say that I sanded this fender down and it's paint ready, but I got a couple little spots, okay? There might be four or five spots that I burned through the primer. What will we do, my friend Pete? We're going to get some epoxy primer and we're going to spot prime that. We're going to spot prime our 2K primer with epoxy primer so that will be paint ready. 2K primer holds its retention and if you got a high quality 2k primer you don't and you don't burn through the primer you do not need sealer which is epoxy primer okay here's the situation of what's going on with my deal and why I have epoxy primer here and then I got this primer on top of it you cannot apply this particular primer on bare metal it cannot be done so what I did before I applied this primer, and then there's another primer on the top here called Evercoat Super Build. They claim this is a direct to metal primer, but I don't do it. So what I do is I do all my body work, I get all that done, then I come back, and this is only if I have to use these type of primers. If I'm going to use my 2K primer, then I will go directly into that. I will not epoxy prime. I will go directly into it right after my body work and then I will start block sanding for paint. But if I have an extreme job like this Volkswagen and I got to apply super build on the roof and uh, feather fill on the fenders, then what I need to do is I need to epoxy prime this to seal the metal. Did you just hear the word sealer? I have made dozens of videos on this and it seems like people just don't get the message. They don't understand. And the reason is, is because you've got all these other YouTubers out there that are saying, go buy this primer. All you got to do is add 2K, uh, 2K primer. All you got to do is add reducer to it, and it's, and it's epoxy primer. No, it's not. It is not a sealer that will give you the airtight substance that you need to seal it. It's not a sealer. It is a primer that you reduce down so when you spray it, it flows out very, very slick and smooth. That's all it is. You have to have epoxy primer. Not 2K primer and add reducer to it. All you're doing with that is you are thinning it out so it will flow out and you don't have to sand it. Now I do that trick every now and then. But when I'm doing an overall paint job like this, if I'm doing a collision job, I might take my 2K primer, put a little reducer in it, up to 10% only, and when it's paint ready, remember I was explaining that, 
I'll go ahead and spot prime that if I don't have any epoxy primer. If I'm short on it, I don't have it, yes, I will rely on that. And then I won't sand it and then paint over. You can do that. But that is not an epoxy primer. One more thing about epoxy primer. A lot of people will uh, epoxy prime their bare metal car and then they will do body work on top of it. I do not suggest that. I suggest that if you're going to do body work after you have epoxy primed it, you get your 36 grit grinder out. You go ahead and grind that spot where that dent is, get it down to bare metal, and do your body work. By the time you go over all the car and you do that, you repeat the process on all, 90% of this epoxy primer will be gone. There's other people out there, they'll say, I put my, I do body work on top of my epoxy primer and I've never had problems with that. Okay, well, that's the way I do it versus you, everybody's different. I don't put a, any Bondo or body filler of any type whatsoever on top of any paints, primers, clear coats, or anything. I always go down to the bare metal if need be, okay? Now, if I find, like, let's say, a little minor imperfection, okay, I'm not talking a dent, but a minor, minor imperfection, and um, let's just say this was it right here, okay, or let's say that there's an imperfection right here. Here we go, right here. And I might need to add a little bit of polyester finishing putty to this area because there's just a, light, a slight imperfection. Then I will take either my 80 grit or a 36 grit piece I will scuff it down like that, and then I will do that on top of the primers. But as far as like big dents go, or major body work, no, I will not do that on top of any type of primer, paint, or clear coats. So basically, the only type of sanding that you can do to epoxy primer is to scuff it down for either a 2K primer, to re-block sand for paint. That's it. If you have applied epoxy primer and you're ready to apply your paint, do not sand it. All your body work, all your prep, everything should be done at that time. If you're doing something like I'm doing and you had to apply epoxy primer to your bare metal because you're you didn't want it to rust out, you didn't want it to run out, and you had body work here but not up here, so you got you need to take a piece of 80 grit like this, and this is all you do. That's it. Okay? Or you can use 180. But what you're looking at, this is basically the, the extreme of applying, of sanding epoxy primer. What you're looking at me doing right now is the extreme of prepping your epoxy primer. And all I'm doing is I'm just roughing it up. That's it. Okay, I'm just roughing the surface so the 2K primer will stick to it. That's it. Now, I don't know if this got through to everybody out there and you actually got the message, but as far as using a epoxy primer as a primer itself and block sanding it out and thinking that it's going to do the job, no, that's not what it's for. It's a sealer. That's all it is. You saw what it does look just from sanding that. Look at my, okay, and I wasn't even putting pressure on it. So that's just from scuffing it up here and, and getting it like this and doing what I got to do to apply my exactly 2K primer. So a true epoxy primer is a epoxy sealer. It is not a primer that you would put over your bodywork to feather out and sand for paint. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, prepping up epoxy primer, block sanding polyester primer, and doing what I got to do to get the job done right. Take it easy.
Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.